Welcome back to my kitchen. I would like to solve a few organization problems with you today. One is my spice drawer. We relocated our spices near to the oven and now they make a bit of a mess in the drawer. So we're gonna do something about that. Uh, my cleaning supplies are above the pantry, so it's safer for the kids, but it's very hard for me to reach things and find what I'm looking for in that cabinet. So we're gonna make that a little bit more organized. Towels and napkins drawer needs a little bit better organization. Uh, they get a little <laughs> unfolded and jumbled in there and messy. And when everything has a place, things stay organized. That's it. Oh, and I ordered a compost bin. My husband wanted a, comp a countertop compost bin. So I ordered one of those. We're gonna unpack that and get it on the counter. Let's go. Oh, uh, my name is Erica. Welcome to the channel. I share my life here on YouTube and over at ericalucaslovestock.com. So above our pantry, we have our cleaning supplies just to keep them out of kids' hands. And I tried organizing it by putting them in rows, but it's really hard to see back here. And then I, it's hard to get to the cleaning rags. So I wanna solve for these problems. I, by the way, I thought that I ordered a two pack, but I ordered two of a four pack. <laughs> That's why it's so much of this, it's ridiculous. Anyway, and so I, I, wanna, I wanna better be able to quick grab stuff and I keep having to move things around to find what I'm looking for. And it's not really efficient or helpful or organized. I bought this last year. I should clean it. Um, had it in our medicine cabinet upstairs. I'm gonna try to see if it fits in there and put the cleaning supplies on there so I can just spin it and grab what I want. Let's see if it fits. I was gonna that first, but that's okay. Oh, it fits with room to spare. Nice. These are all my kitchen cleaning supplies. That's awesome. And that's all carpet cleaning supplies. I have the rags in a shoebox right now. Um, I don't know. Let me see if I can figure out something. And I really need a thing like a, a caddy that I can grab and go clean the three bathrooms. That is, I need that. That's missing in my life. I'm trying it under the sink, and because I already had a label, I'm gonna use it. Perfect. And I put it in a spot that we can just spin it without needing to move, grab it. So these are my everyday kitchen cleaners, dishwasher pods. And then I had this for my last kitchen organization, and we're using it for sponges, trash bags, and now I put my cleaning rags in the bottom one. Perfect. So, and these are locked so the kids can't get in. More space up here. I'm gonna make this side floor cleaners and other cleaners, and then this side's gonna be bathroom once I get my caddy. So I have some Mr. Cleans that I use in the kitchen that I wanna find a home for in here. So, SOS pads and more Dawn. This came with a divider. It's dry erase, loving this. This is from a women owned business. They have a shop on Amazon. I will leave a link below for the under the sink organizer. It was very easy to put together. And now I just created a third section. Perfect. Very good. I'm just gonna pop it back on the shelf. And these just slide out super easy. I got my cleaning cloths. Great. Like this. So we recently moved our spices closer to the oven instead of keeping them in the pantry. And they move around a lot in here. They don't have a lot of freedom to move because of these things here. But on this side, they move a lot and it would look a little bit better and work a little bit better if they don't slide around so much in this drawer, especially if I decide to move these to a different drawer. 
and Jenny over on my Instagram messaged me with a link to this. Seems pretty genius. I'll leave the link below. You cut to make it fit. our own pork rub, we make our own taco seasoning, and my husband keeps some sort of pepper things in here. He makes his own hot sauce too. So, I'm gonna make for me this here. We only use these for actual freezer stuff, like crock pot extras that I've made. Then I use this. Otherwise, I use stasher bags. I'll leave a link in the description box below, but there, here's two of mine. They're stasher bags, silicone reusable, freezer safe, microwave safe, dishwasher safe. I mean, can you get more practical? And uh, so this is what we use for leftovers and such now. I got a kit that's all different sizes, but here it is, stasher bags. We probably even have some. Yep, we have some in the dishwasher right now. The thing about them though, is that for a few hours, you know, maybe up to 12 hours outside of the dishwasher, outside of a dishwasher run, there's still a little moisture in there. And so I just put them in my drying rack for the day. And by the end of the day, they're ready to be put away. I think I want to do one more row here for uniformity's sake. with a measuring roller. Didn't even see that. My method worked fine too. All right, so now we're gonna give it the Lucas test. We like to slam our drawers. Yep, these work great. Okay, so under this tarp <laughs> is our compost bin. We got it for free from the county, which is very cool. Anyway, this is our compost pile. It's in the back of the yard. And as long as you balance your carbon and your nitrogen and your composting the right things, there's no smell. I mean, I was right up in there and I smell nothing. The leaves are working their way into the pile. <laughs> right range. He's a good boy. Where's your ball? Where's your ball? Go get your ball. Go get it. No, that's a stick. Total random side note, uh, if you watched our video, I'll leave a link for you here in the iCard, but 
we set up an emergency fund. That was the first task of getting our finances in order. And then we started paying off debt. Super glad we did because this little guy pulled from the emergency fund last week, chewing sticks, got it lodged in his jaw in the back. And they needed the hemostats to get it out. No more sticks. Come on. Come on. And every day Andy takes out a pile via a bowl. And then we just stick the bowl in the dishwasher. He asked for a des desktop, <laughs> a countertop compost bin. So we're trying this one. It was on a Cyber Monday sale on Amazon. We're going to give this a whirl so we can just carry it and dump it into the compost bin every two days because I really don't want like a flies, fruit flies, flies, maggots situation going on. So if we empty it often and clean it out, it should be fine. And this is supposed to be dishwasher safe. Okay, so there's a way you can mount it onto the wall or on the cabinet. We're not gonna do either because this is dog height and we don't wanna mount anything to the wall. We're just gonna leave it on the countertop. Yeah, these are the mounts, mounting pieces. Like that. There's ones that have like charcoal tabs in the lid, but the reviews had it so that um, they were really hard to clean. So we'll try this one. It's so pretty on my counter. <laughs> actually only need this when there's a mildew problem, so I'm not going to put this in my everyday bathroom cleaning. I have been doing the Target drive up pickup thing where you pull into the parking spot and they put it in the back of your truck or the back of your car. Um, I have been doing this since they instituted it during this year. I hope they never get rid of it. I love it. I don't actually go into Target anymore. I do it all on the app. It's very handy. Anyway, I added these drawer organizers to my order <laughs> when I was there. I was thinking this would be for my linen napkins, but now that I have it home, it's larger than I <laughs> was envisioning it needed to be. So let's see what we can do with it. I bought two. Yeah, see, like I have linen, brown linen napkins here, and then I also bought gray ones because I just wasn't doing wash frequently enough, and we kept needing napkins at the table, like we just didn't have them. So. I like them all in one spot. These are those command strips that don't leave any marks on your wall. So when we're done with them, we pull this pat this tab down and they pop right off. I rolled them and put them in and this side I did a trifold I like the roll better but still have lots of space in the drawer 
everything has a place. The key to organization.